Well, welcome to our first ever Samana Santa here in the Dominican Republic. This is going to be an interesting video. It is. People have literally been warning us about this weekend starting like 2.5 years ago when we first arrived here. We've been getting so many warnings about it, people telling us we should probably leave for it, but we've never experienced it before, so this is gonna be interesting. For those of you that don't know, Semana Santa literally translates to Holy Week. It's definitely the most important holiday here in all of the year. That's including Christmas here in the Dominican Republic. It's very, very exciting. We hear that people walk from the cities to the beaches that they get super crowded those crazy parties but right now it's actually the one holiday over the course of the weekend which is good friday supposedly there's no drinking and no music but i definitely see a lot of people so we're actually filming this over the course of two days and uh, yeah this is two days before our videos come out on a sunday so hopefully we can get the edit done in time the edit might be a little bit different but right away you can see in the background here there's a lot of security around. There is. This is something that's not overly usual here on this beach. Like, you do see police every day, but there's usually just a couple of them. Now they have, like, a lot of police officers. There's military. We saw a helicopter <laughs> there was a earlier helicopter. that was literally scoping the beach back and forth. And then there's all these people in these uh, orange vests, and I think they might be lifeguards. This is a lot different so far. <laughs> Again, I think this is really tame for what we're going to see tomorrow, but it's so interesting. This is not what the beach is normally yeah, like. Yeah, and I'm excited to see what tomorrow's going to be like, because it's really what people have warned us about like today is the more chill laid back restrictive day whereas tomorrow is supposed to be like go 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 parties I don't know we'll see you guys will know before we do because uh Right now we're filming the day before, but you're just about to watch it right now. <laughs> also, for those of you that follow along from week to week, you might be a little bit confused as to how we're possibly in Cabarete right now. What we basically did is we traveled, as you know, to a few different islands. Then we went to Santo Domingo and to Los Terrenos. And those videos are not out yet, but they're already filmed. And we figured since we were back in Cabarete for Easter weekend, we have to film. So you guys can see there's lots of people in loungers. I mean, it's really not that crazy yet. There's more people than usual, though. Definitely more people than usual. You guys might think this looks relatively normal. Cabarete never usually gets, like, super crazy, even though it is one of the more popular beach towns here in the Domin Dominican Republic. But today, I mean, this is really an example of how busy it can get, but I do think tomorrow it's going to be even crazier. One thing we can't quite figure out is why Easter <laughs> is such a big party weekend here in the Dominican Republic. I don't think we've been to another country where this happens and we've been to a lot lots of countries in south america as well but we're not quite sure are we yeah because at christmas here is pretty low-key um it seems like christmas eve is kind of the bigger holiday or the bigger celebration for a lot of people and then christmas day kind of just feels like normal around here whereas this weekend is apparently where everybody's off everybody comes to the beach and the mm -hmm. other thing that i can't really figure out because i know the dominican republic is a very very religious country is that do people are people going to church and are they like doing religious things this yeah. weekend or is it just one big party and maybe some Dominicans can we, actually comment we, like, we, that, yeah exactly we love if someone would comment and let us know because we don't know if people like go to church today or is it Sunday from what all the locals tell us is like as of midnight tonight it turns into like crazy town and I think tomorrow's gonna be busy so it's interesting to see and I feel like there's all this anticipation coming for tomorrow we did mention the helicopter a little bit earlier. We saw it earlier in the day and then not we didn't really hear it for the last couple of hours, but definitely back. I don't know if they're monitoring the water, making yeah. sure like water safety and all that stuff, no one's drowning. But, but it's really close. It's actually a military chopper, I think. I'm yeah, pretty I think, sure. I'm pretty sure like everybody is out this weekend, including the police, including the military. Alright, you'll be able to see some of the uh, military presence around this is totally different because we never see this while we're here huh no and what's even weirder is this is one of our favorite bars and we're not even serving alcohol today because of the van <laughs> i know it's <laughs> mojito bar and what <laughs> rowdy how are you come on start you want to be in the video <laughs> there's no alcohol today right no alcohol today no tomorrow though huh yeah you can get tomorrow tomorrow okay so everyone's today is today you can get juice or coke yeah. or something like that do you get a lot of tour do you get a lot of tourists asking for alcohol and then they don't know? No, no, no. The tourists want alcohol. <laughs> exactly. Complicated today. This is Rowdy. He works at our favorite bar. He might be our favorite guy here. He's awesome. Say hi to Rowdy if you're ever here. Right now we're just walking by uh, Oho and this is usually the absolute loudest place on the beach and it's silent. It's weird that there's no music. It's totally weirding me out. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty sure this is the place at night, like at midnight tonight is where the party 
will be at. <laughs> it looks like everybody's sitting around and wondering where the alcohol is, but uh, wow, this is fascinating so far. It's such yeah. a different perspective on yeah. Cabaret and one the, of the DR. One of the rumors that we've heard is that because there's an alcohol ban from, I think it's in the morning <laughs> until midnight, that at midnight everything just goes crazy. We're really not nightlife people, so you're not, I'm sorry, you're not gonna get to see that tonight. If you were looking forward to like what happens at midnight, you're gonna have to use your imagination. <laughs> we also heard that at, at, in other years they set up big stages, yeah. but we heard a rumor that the government banned it, like yep. a banned big stage. I think stage they're trying to be trying to keep it safer key. this year, a bit of yeah. safety, I guess. I'm yeah. not quite sure. All right, we're coming by Voy Boy. You'll see more uh, of the uh, military here. This is never like this. The beach is totally different. No music on a Voy Boy either. No, it's so weird. I feel like everyone can hear what I'm saying, which is also really <laughs> odd. And I have, I haven't had any drinks today either, so I'm definitely not <laughs> feeling like super loose and uh, outgoing at the moment. By the way, if you got this far in the video, you're probably wondering, like, who the heck are we? It's Trevor and Anna. It's Delightful Travelers, just in case you're wondering. We figured this video might be getting in front of more people than usual, though we're not sure. We thought we'd introduce ourselves. We are from Canada, but we live right here in Cabarete in the DR, and we've been all over the country, up in Constanza, over to Los Tyrannos, you name it. So make sure to hit subscribe because there's lots more videos from the DR coming up. So along our walk, we've actually stopped at a few of the restaurants. Uh, like at Mojito Bar, they are not serving alcohol, but a couple of them are discreetly doing it. Apparently they're serving it in plastic cups. They don't have any like specials going on. As most of you guys know, if you've been here before, they do have a lot of happy hours here. And I guess that's not really happening today because I guess, you know, then they'd be obviously breaking the law, but they're kind of doing it discreetly. I will not name the places that are because I don't want anyone to get in trouble but if you're coming here in future years and you're wondering like can I actually get any alcohol at some of the restaurants here chances are you can well we've come across what is one of the new additions here on the beach it's the uh, official volleyball court huh yeah this is, I've never seen this before often they just have like makeshift you know people put up a volleyball net and they play but this is like an official competition well, we almost got hit by the ball there. I have to be really careful. It's hard to... Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk in the camera and watch the ball and make sure I don't get hit at the same time. But this is really cool, something that does not happen here all the time. I've actually never seen this. There's some sort of volleyball competition happening this weekend. Today's been interesting for sure. It's cool to see all these people on the beach. We never see this amount of people. But it's also really weird to have it oh so quiet. And for those of you that don't know, Dominican Republic is not known for being a quiet place. Usually, especially on Sunday, is like a beach day, it's not Sunday, but that's the day that all the Dominicans come to the beach, and it's usually pretty loud. People bring speakers. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest shock to us so yeah. far is the, the noise level. Yeah. Like, we hear the ocean, of yeah, course, but no we're, background noise, we're so pretty used to hearing some really loud speakers in all the restaurants having the music on, especially on uh, the long weekend. So, let's see, we're gonna call it here for today, and let's see what happens tomorrow. All right, it's now uh, the next day and we're in the town. So far what we noticed is there's lots of traffic and it's a little louder as you could probably tell. There's also a police presence, so lots of that going on, but uh, I don't know if it's gonna get louder as we go on. Yeah, so yesterday we were obviously just on the beach. We didn't really make our way over to town yesterday, so I don't know what the comparison would be, but it's definitely busy right now. I think we just said it's the next day, so it's Saturday, which people have told us is 100% the busiest day of the entire weekend. So this is gonna be the litmus test. It is also, remember yesterday, we said no music? Today there's music, the music's back. Yeah, it's a little bit louder today. We'll make our way to the beach eventually to see what it's like compared to yesterday. I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit busier and probably a little bit louder. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the camera on so you guys can hear. Wow, it's pretty busy. Look at all the traffic to give you an idea of what's happening. Lots and lots of things. It's pretty loud, huh? What? <laughs> Can you even hear me? Now this is more like the DR normally Yeah, is. this is what I expected. We also noticed so far that there's uh, not as many tourists out. I think tourists are pretty used to uh, I guess hibernating or staying yeah. in when this goes on, there's a lots of locals, which makes it so fun. Yeah, and a lot of expats have told us, those people that we said warned us for ages and ages about how crazy this gets, they said they usually just buy groceries, they hunker down for the weekend and don't really go out. Yeah. But come on, you have to come and see what it's like. Yeah, you have to come and see this. I mean, right now it's worth it for the, the traffic alone, but if I go this way, look, there's actually not a lot of like foot traffic right in town here, so that's interesting to see. This is uh, one of the new additions here. It's like a pop-up 
empanada stand. So yeah, brand new. Let's see what we got over here. <laughs> we got the music on. I don't know. Hola amigo. <laughs> Quanto es, eh, es de queso? Queso en el queso, de pollo y de pizza. Ok, um, solo uno queso, por favor. Quanto? 75. We've actually been on a hunt for an empanada stand, so it's nice to have this pop up here. Sorry, it's really, really loud. I'm gonna guess that's gonna be the theme of this part of the, this uh, this particular video, or the end of the video. It's gonna be, I think, a little bit louder. We'll see when we get down to the beach. But speaking of empanadas, we've actually been looking for an empanada stand. A lot of them close in the morning. It's kind of considered sometimes more of a breakfast food, which I find rather funny so they close by noon or so so we generally don't get that many empanadas here this one i will tell you is very very hot we got a cheese a cheese oh, like, what's this this red stuff there on it interesting i don't know <laughs> we'll find out what that mystery stuff is but let's break it apart Ooh. let's look in nice and gooey uh -huh. <laughs> is it good <laughs> That's some cheesy goodness. It's definitely not, nothing overly complex, but it's just if you want a little bit of a flaky crust and some ooey, gooey, hot cheese, it's absolutely delicious. I would love if there was like some sort of sauce to dip it in, but this is just street food. It's pretty basic, it's pretty simple. Um, it was 75 pesos, so about a dollar and a half, something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like a dollar, yeah, a dollar and a half uh, Canadian. That's not too bad. All right, we're gonna make our way uh, down to the beach to see if anything is different down here definitely uh, a lot of people huh <laughs> this is probably the most people I've ever seen in beach chairs for sure <laughs> down here especially in this area on the beach mm. there's a lot of people I don't know if people can tell either the weather is not very good today yeah <laughs> so I am curious what it would be like if it was an absolutely gorgeous day because today definitely one of the worst days it would rain a lot this morning uh, it's starting to get a little bit better throughout the day but it's still pretty overcast <laughs> A little cooler than normal too. Fingers crossed it does not rain. I know. <laughs> well, the police are even on the beach here with their ATVs, uh, their quad bikes today. So, yeah, it can really, really goes to show like how many people are here. It's very different than yesterday. And it's almost all local Dominicans, which I absolutely love. I love that they all come out today and just party, you know? But we're still wondering, if you didn't leave a comment yet, why today? Like, why is why is Easter the big party? party yeah, day? and I'm just gonna go back to something that you just said. I know in a lot of places, but like say for Los and Los Verena specifically, sometimes it feels like the beach is kind of where like the expats and the tourists are, and it doesn't really feel like the Dominicans go there. They're just like in the busy town, but the beach area is for tourists. One thing we love about Cabarete is that everybody comes down to the yep. beach. And we mentioned before, like Sundays is like Dominican Family Day, and they all come together. Yeah. And, so, you know, and this is like Sundays on multiple steroids. We love seeing like <laughs> it's basically yep. all Dominicans here, and there's no worry about feeling like tourists are taking over the beach. No, like the Dominicans love that we're here as well. I know some tourists would be scared to be here right now, but I can tell you the Dominicans are some of the friendliest people on the planet mm -hmm. that we ever, ever met. And we love, what we love about Cabaret is what Anna just said, the tourists and the Dominicans mix, and they mix really well. And that's why we love it, but it's extra cool to see Cabaret Beach like this today. However, speaking of being nervous or safety, one thing we've been told that you really have to look out for this weekend in particular, or I should say this weekend totally, I've never heard of it any other time here on Cabaret Beach, but pickpocketers. Apparently that's a thing here, that people will come from the cities and start to pickpocket people, especially when you're in a really tight quarters, which obviously we don't need to worry about <laughs> right now, but people said don't keep anything in your pockets. Um, I put everything in here and it's all like super zipped up and I'm going to keep this like in front of me just in case we're around a lot of people. We also heard a story about someone getting, a, um, I think someone posted on a Facebook group that they had their purse stolen off the table. So yeah. just be very wary of your personal belongings. We even didn't take our wallets. We just took one Visa card yeah, just in like case. Yeah, I took like a Visa and a little bit of cash and it's all zipped, in, zipped into a pocket inside the bag. So before you say like, oh yeah, that's what happens in the DR, it's not safe, the Dominican Republic's not safe. Remember, pickpocketing happens in so many European countries. Way more than here. <laughs> Way more than here. No, no one thinks twice about going to Spain or Italy, for instance, and it happens all the time. This is the first time we've ever heard about it. Yeah. So, you know, just be aware of your 
belongings and enjoy the day. Listen to the music. What a contrast. Like, yeah, yes. totally different from yesterday. I don't have any fear of like, I should say fear, but you know, we still get a little camera shot here and there when it's really quiet. There's a lot of people around. So yesterday felt a little bit of that, but today no one's paying attention. They're all dancing, having fun, well, some having the, drinks, <laughs> listening to music. Some of them are for sure. I can see a lot less. Once people watch us long enough, they start to go like, are they TikTokers? And then they keep, we keep going with the camera and they're like, well, maybe they know what they're doing. I don't think we know what we're doing. <laughs> Volleyball's a bit louder today. Yeah, so if you were wondering, volleyball tournament's still happening. Definitely more observers and a little bit louder today. <laughs> These guys are really excited. So I don't know where all the teams are from. But <laughs> look at this. So yeah, it's actually uh, women's. <laughs> Some areas, some areas are definitely quieter than others with people, but not music. <laughs> Listen to all this camp. Can you hear me? No. <laughs> but yeah, you'll see more tourists here. Got oh, lots of people around, so it's cool. There is some tourists around. A few, yeah. It seems to be <laughs> at certain places there seems to be more tourists, and then at certain places there seem to be more Dominicans. Can you hear me? I don't. I don't think they can hear you with all the loud music, but. It's still cool to see. The amount of people looking at us right now is absolutely absurd, but hey, we wouldn't have it any any other way. So yeah, it's quiet at this place. So yeah, it's really strange. Like the further you go, or depending where you're at, no music. Yeah, there were like music. three restaurants right in a row that had music blaring, and then over here, not too bad. Well, we just stopped into Bahia here on the beach to grab a beer because today you can have alcohol. We also mainly stopped in here because it was the only place with seats, so it just made sense. Finally got some Presidente Light, or Presidente Light, I'll pronounce it correctly. I know uh, in a lot of videos we keep ending up with Corona because they run out of Presidentes. Not today. It's in a glass as well. I'm not sure why they came in a can. But one thing you guys might be wondering is, is there like a stage or is there live music happening here in the town? Now, we were told in the past there's always like a, a big stage or scaffolding or something set up somewhere on the beach that's like a public concert. This year there's nothing like that. The closest you get, I guess, is kind of like that volleyball setup. It doesn't help that the weather's not good either. So I think the police are trying to control like a little bit of the noise level and not have the party get too out of hand because in the past we have heard it can get pretty crazy. Again, we'll talk about Los Tyrannis, even though we're in Cabarete. I know that place can get wild with uh, Samana Santa as well. So we're just happy that we got a seat. We're enjoying the day with the Dominicans here having our cold beer. We just wish the weather was a little better. It's 24 degrees Celsius and when you're here for a long time and you live here, trust me, you can tell the difference between 24 and 28. I know if you're watching from the northern countries, I won't complain about the 24 degrees Celsius weather, but you'd understand if you were here. So while Trevor was talking, I did just feel a couple of drops. Maybe it was coming from the ocean or like just blowing off something, but definitely got hit with a couple of drops. Hopefully it doesn't rain because that would really suck. Can you imagine all these people having to run indoors? There's not enough indoor seating, I can tell you, for all these people. So it'll be chaos. Now one thing you guys might be wondering about is the aftermath of all this. Like what's this place gonna look like tomorrow? So we heard before uh, coming here and in the past that usually the next day, like on Sunday, the beach is just trashed and literally with garbage. So. That's definitely not cool. We won't get to show you guys if that is the case because we're putting the video literally tomorrow. It's about five o'clock in the evening on Saturday. This is like the night before. It's gonna be the craziest edit we've ever done. <laughs> but we are told that the beach gets trashed and that's something that I wish didn't happen in the Dominican Republic. I think over time that will change with education, but it, it is pretty normal for people that come here to leave trash on the beach. Uh, usually the Caparete town, like there's people in orange shirts, they they clean it up. Maybe today they're doing a really good job at that because we didn't notice it so much. We didn't see anything like in the water yet. But there's a lot of people still here, so it could all be under the chairs and I don't want to stare. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe uh, if someone asks in a comment below, we can respond and let you guys uh, know how it was. Fingers crossed it's not too bad because no one likes to see garbage on a beach. All right, well, uh, overall thoughts. Before we get into that, we do have to get home and edit, so we're gonna have to stop filming or this video is not gonna make it out in time. <laughs> yeah, I know some people probably wanted to see after dark. We're not, not nightlife people in general, but we probably would have tried to do it tonight just to see what it was like. Yeah. But Editing does take quite a while. So. Yeah, my hunch is it's not going to be too much different. Just a lot more people that are yeah. very, very drunk. Yeah, maybe more music and more 
Maybe music. Maybe more drunk people. That's fine. We don't want to get too drunk because we do have to do some okay. editing. But I, okay, so I'm going to be the one that will say it first. This isn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. No, I mean, I, going back to the beginning of the video, we have been warned about this weekend so many times from so many people about the other chaos of it. Yeah. It honestly just feels like a lot of people. It, it just does feel like a lot of people. To be completely honest, we've seen this many people or more on a beach in Italy in Palermo yeah. every single day of the week. Yeah. <laughs> so we were warned by expats especially to like leave and get out of town, like yeah. go to the mountains or something, go the opposite way when the Dominicans come here because it's, it's a little bit crazy to us. It's like one day, one or two days yeah. of this, and it's fine. It's fun to see. It's great to see this many people out. Hopefully, like, the businesses are doing really well. Hopefully, the vendors are doing really well. And, like, making... It's going to go into slow season now, so making up for, uh, for <laughs> yeah. that. Make up for that. Now, that's it, though. First Easter here in the books. Now we know what to expect. So now I think we've covered all the major holidays here in the DR, I think. Maybe there's one in the summer we haven't, but <laughs> we'll find out that because we live here. If you're new around here and you don't know who we are, it's Trevor and Anna, Delightful Travelers. If you're not new, we hope you guys all enjoyed this video because I know this was very different than our normal videos, like extremely different, but we had to turn the camera on. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming back every single week. Leave us a comment below. Hit the like button, hit share, tell all your friends. Yeah, and also for those of you that have been watching, we will be back to regularly, regular scheduled program next week and it will be uh, Santo Domingo. Yeah, we got some cool stuff to show you in Santo Domingo. Cannot wait for you guys to see it. All right guys, that's it. From Cabarete, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.